안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남이입니다. Hi, Hi. it's Nami and Michael's here today mm. again, and we have a special guest. This yes. is Steve. Um, he's one of our friends, and he was actually mm. the MVP, clutch best yep. man yep. at our wedding. So today he's gonna kind of share the story from his perspective in terms of finding out about the pregnancy and in his world, like how that had been playing part. Right. And maybe in the future we might do like. A best man's perspective of the wedding as well, um, which is actually pretty funny because yeah. if you see the video right here, there are many aspects to the wedding that you may laugh or cringe about. Oh God. <laughs> Take it away, Steve. You're giving me so much pressure. Am I? A little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. This dates back about five years, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the first time that I heard about this was in my car while yeah. I was hosting a Christmas party. And mm. um, at the end of the party, I was heading uptown, um, and I was driving them back. Mm. And I think you guys were. It was really awkward because usually uh, when I'm someone driving, sits someone the sits in okay. the passenger right. seat. Yeah, yeah. And these two were at the back, and I was alone <laughs> driving, kind of chauffeuring. Them. Yeah, you were yeah. kind of like a taxi driver. Yeah, and then um, they were sitting in the back seats, and they were all quiet. And I remember specifically, so this is in Toronto. So clearly, I remember it's right at the curve. Oh. And then Mike said, "Steve, I have to tell you something." And I'm like, "Mike, I've, we've known each other for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. You don't really have to sound so formal." Yeah. And I was wondering what that was all about, and then. Um, Uh, all of a sudden, like he was like, "Well, Steve, Nami and I were pregnant," and I was like, "Oh, haha, sure." Um, <laughs> and I said, "You know, so what are you guys gonna do?" And then the and the mic said very seriously, he said, "You know, we given a lot of thought. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead with this." And I said, "Okay, right. Well, just trying to act natural. So what's the plan?" And uh, Mike is like, okay, so Steve, if you have time tomorrow, um, let's meet up. Mm. Uh, I want to talk to you. And I said, you know, mm. at that point, anything. So we met up the second day, and I said, so Mike, um, you know, how long have you known about this? And he was like, well, we found out yesterday. And I'm like, right. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of right. time. Yeah. And so, what's your plan? Because you know, amongst my friends, I'm always the plan guy, right? Apparently. Mm. So, well, you know, okay. So here's a plan. It sounds so serious. I'm gonna go to Nami's house tomorrow. I'm going to ask their parents for forgiveness. At the same time, I'm going to ask for their blessings and her hand in marriage. And I was like, <sighs> deep breath. I said, you really thought this through, right? Mm -hmm. And then he was like, yeah, I thought this through. And he was looking at me, and I was like looking at him, and <laughs> like, okay. So now, some of you may not know. Um, Their family know each other, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. And you guys yeah. go to the same church. Our They family from, did, yeah. yes, go yes, to the same yes, church. Yes. And in my mind, what that translated to is that this guy is going to get murdered. <laughs> um, <laughs> immediately after, I said, "Okay, so are you are you are you sure you you're gonna do this?" And he was like, "Well, I'm going to talk to Pastor." In my mind, that was at the time, oh, light from God, maybe some someone's <laughs> gonna talk some sense to this guy. From what you told me, Pastor. Pretty much didn't say much and just say, Mike, right. we're gonna take a ride. You guys went to the beer store, got a six pack, mm -hmm. drank it all in a park. <laughs> and he probably in, said, in to you, just just drink in, a, in bush. a bush. In a bush? Yeah. Wait, were you in a bush? <gasps> yeah, we were in, inside a pretty big bush. <laughs> What? Because like, oh it's not God. legal to drink in the park. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't so know we, that. we we okay. we sat inside a bush. And okay. Okay. We, he was so, just understanding the situation. <laughs> yeah. So you're having a man to man moment. <laughs> so In he told he told me after that meeting um, that he was still going to go with the plan, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, buddy. So at that point, I told him, I said, when you go in, before you go in their house, call me. After you get out, call me. You know, if I don't hear from you within four hours, I'm probably gonna assume that you're dead. My call right now, I don't mm. know, but I was really nervous for him. I think around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., I think he messaged me at that point. Mm -hmm. You're probably exhausted, emotionally mm. exhausted. <laughs> he told me everything was fine, yeah. and I didn't want to talk to him much. I said, okay, buddy, if you need anything, I'm here. Mm. So um, we ended up talking a couple of days later. I asked him, I said, so how did it go? And from his version at that time, he told me that I think, he, I think there was something about you kneeling down to the parents and you were you know asking right. for their forgiveness and 
you know, at first they were very reluctant, and then after that they were finally. I mean, what? Like, how can you? He's such a yeah. good guy. You know, how, how can you mm. reject that? Mm. Right. One of the things that you guys want me to talk about is the rumors that were surrounding right. uh, the pregnancy. There were many rumors. There were many rumors, actually. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot, actually, from our group of friends back from high school. Mm-hmm. Right? A year after Galha's birth, mm. we were sitting around. We were just chatting and catching up, mm-hmm. having a couple beers. And one of the guys said, you know... Uh, how's Mike doing? And I said, well, Mike's doing fine. Mike's doing really well. Um, his son is one year old now. Um, everything is good. And one of the guys, actually, he sprung up and said, he was like, you know, wasn't his wife really young? And I said, yeah, and he was really young. That's so stupid. Why would he do something like that without thinking? And I said, first of all, I don't think he didn't think. And there was a lot of conversation that went around back and forth between them. They were saying, did he have a job? You know, did he have work? Uh, what was he thinking? How could he have done that? And I just, I think I got annoyed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just, I, I kind of... Because you were working together too, like a few years before that. A few years before that, yeah. And yeah. that, because, you know, a lot of people, I think, you know, young people, they know each other, but they don't really know each other. Mm. They know each mm. other by name. You may have heard mm-hmm. little bits and pieces mm. here like and Like you there. have asso- associates, like... And friends. Yeah. 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 And I think a lot of people heard bits and pieces about the story, but they don't really, really know the whole mm, story. Mm. So, yeah. you know, maybe they were judgmental, something like that. But I just remember getting really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to a few of them, I said, you know what? You guys should really shut up. None of you guys, including myself, at that situation, would have done the same as Mike did. You know, like he took a lot of responsibility on at that mm. moment that he decided that he was going to mm. do that. Mm. So you guys don't have any right to talk about him. And then they just looked at me, and then everybody kind of went quiet, and then, <laughs> you know, that was that, right? At that moment, I felt, you know, it was it was kind of personal, because I went through it with you, right, the mm. whole thing. Yeah, thank you for sharing, Steve, and I know we knew also of the many rumors going mm. around. It wasn't just around my circle within high school, but it was within church, it was within your yeah. church, it was within your school. It was within the adults, the Korean community. Yeah. There were a lot of fingers of judgment pointing down on us. Yeah. And even more eyes. Yes. And ears. Yes. Know. And rumors and words, gossip spreads like wildfire. In the Korean it, community especially. And, yeah. And yeah. it affects you, of course. And I, I think for us, that was a really forming and growing experience for yeah. us. There's so much we can say going through going through that experience but mm. you know we can't really capture it on a video but if you're interested in hearing from uh, my perspective mm. as a student working part-time just how I came to the decision of of following through uh, with this because for me the only real option was go forward and take responsibility mm. but that the, the pressure of that I would be on the ground at night just <laughs> prostate on the ground flat flat. i was flat and and just the pressure of that you were flattened physically by the pressure of everything yeah that's interesting that you mentioned that because sometimes i was i was thinking back on it i was wondering does mike not know what pressure means (laughs) he felt it physically (laughs) because there was the pregnancy and soon after wedding Mm. yeah yeah because there was a lot of pressure like this whole time through Mm. yeah so definitely give us a thumbs up on this video if you'd like to see like michael's perspective or something like that an unmarried 22 year old full-time student i think that'll be a really interesting video because i know that a lot of you say that michael has really interesting perspectives and ways of thinking given the same situation what would you guys have done if all of a sudden your friend told you that you know he or she is pregnant one of the things that kept going through my mind was that should i have encouraged him or discouraged him or i think what i ended up doing was to not play a part in that key decision making Mm. was to just be supportive Mm. most of that was you yeah especially if he already came to you with that decision yeah Yeah, seems pretty firm about it (laughs) (laughs) I think it's also different like depending on that decision like whether they decide to keep the baby or if they don't or if they decide to deliver the child and then put it up for adoption but yeah we'd love to hear like what you would have done Mm -hmm. um, if you were in Steve's shoes (laughs) Yes. With these crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for sticking up and standing firm. And, and that, that takes courage, too. To, yeah. Anytime. To <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed hearing, you know, the pregnancy 
version of the story from Steve. If you'd like to see more videos from our channel, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to become part of our Nocho Fam! <laughs> <laughs> I also post frequently on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. So I'll check you out on these platforms if these are platforms that you use. And we will see you very soon. Today's feature comment is from Mixam. Nami, I am a new viewer of your channel. Are you saved? Yes.